Yo, what's up all my pies? Purple G here, and welcome back to another Let's Play Pokemon X video. Now, um, I have not done really anything since the last episode, and on the, in the last episode, I accidentally forgot to save my progress, so if the levels are a little bit different, I am so sorry for that. But yeah, I didn't really bother, so I kind of started off where I left off right here, just did just like watched it and stuff. And I probably may or may not be uploading, because I'm going to be doing the... Thanksgiving, like, from most of you, unless, like, you're watching this and you don't live in America, you live in, like, I don't know, UK or something, and you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, obviously, but, yes, um, and that's all, so I may, cause of, cause of family reasons, and so I may not have, like, all the recording accessibility or something, so I may or may not be recording, but, yeah, I have been playing through Pokemon Moon, and anyways, I've been wasting time, let's get on with it, let's get on with the adventure. So I have been playing through Pokemon Moon lately, it's a good game, I do have to admit, um, I have already beaten the first trial, and if you guys, like, haven't played this game, I'm not gonna, or played Moon, I won't give you any spoilers, or Sun, whatever one. I'm not going to tell you, like, anything. I've just been in the first trial. That's pretty much it. And the only team member I have is my starter. Because, I mean, it's not just my starter. I have some other team members. But they're, like, temporary to get me. Because all the team members I have, you, you get them, like, so late on in the game. And then I kind of realize, oh, I need some Pokemon to get me through the game. So, yeah, I ca caught some Pokemon that I thought were pretty cool. Such as, like, Rock Ruff and stuff. Fletchling's level 17! A Pidgey. And then Frogadier. He can manage this. And I had cleared up some space on my camera so now I can record longer videos. But all the videos I've been posting lately, um, they're not like long because there's not really any point for them to be long. They're just really little short ones. Alright, so, let's continue on. A Psyduck. Okay, let's go with Bulbasaur. And I am going to be traveling, so I wanted to make this video. Or at least so if it cuts off, like, if I say that I'm going to um, upload longer and it turns out to be like 15 minutes. Um, I am sorry because I am about to be leaving or in some time. I will be leaving to go and to the place I will be going to. Cause I'm not gonna stay at my me home. So yeah. Um that's kind of about it. It's kinda weird going back to this game after playing through Moon so long. Even though like I haven't gotten really anywhere. It's kinda weird going back to all these old or not really old games, but like oh. Yay! So bright. Yay! Bulbasaur. Yay! Ivysaur. Also, another reason it chose Bulbasaur is because, um, no one ever chooses it. Oh, yay, another one. No one really ever chooses it. Everyone chooses, like, Charmander, because it's Charizard. And everyone chooses Squirtle, because Blastoise is Blastoise. I don't know why people hate it. No one chooses Bulbasaur. And I choose Bulbasaur. Because I actually bought... If you guys didn't realize, a couple of, like, months back, um, they were re re remaking Red and Blue for 3DS, where they were selling an arty shop. And I got mine, and the very first time I played through it, I played with uh, Bulbasaur. Which, as a matter of fact, is the best starter to choose when playing through that game. And Charmaine is the worst, and... But it's all based on Jim. If you want to know where I got all this information from, you can go check out other Poketubers that are, like, way better than me. And I'm not gonna say names, because... 
because YouTube is going to be like, Oh god, copyright, you said someone else's YouTube channel name, oh my god. We're going to have to copyright your video, we're going to have to block it, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do everything. We're going to have to block your video, we're going to have to stop sending you peanut butter sandwiches. My goodness, we're just going to have to stop everything. Alright, so Ivysaur going to vine with this little zigzagoon. There we go. And if I do do a let's, or, heh, <laughs> do do. Um, if I do consider doing a let's play on the seventh generation, I probably will be doing Sun. Because I've played through Moon. I've played through Moon, and I want to do Sun, because then it will be a new experience for me. And maybe, and maybe for the few of you who actually watch this. I don't know. It's kind of good if people view it, because. It would be wonderful if, if I'm not just, like, sitting here talking to myself and making a video that, like, no one's gonna see. They're just gonna be, like, another video. And there's gonna be, like, a other person just be like, no, nah, I don't want to see that person's video. Oh. I bet there's, like, no point in me doing this. That's happening. Oh. No one's listening to the words I'm saying now. Wow. Okay, this route is taking forever. My gosh, how many Pokemon do these people have? Okay, this person has one more. Then, hasn't been paying attention. The episodes are already six minutes already. Six minutes. Come on, Gulpin. It's already six minutes. This is ridiculous. Okay, Fletchinger. Beautiful. Alright. What we are going to be doing the special shenanigans. Gonna be running towards Park. Oh. That was very unintentional. That just happened. Well, hello, Venipede. I probably won't put him on my team. No Venipedes. You are a cool Pokemon. Everyone says that, like, the, the fifth generation is, like, oh my god, so bad. So bad. Wow, so bad. Ridiculous. Wow, so bad. Just beating up on little Garbodor. Garbodor. Wow. See, look, Gen 6 is taking notification. You see that? There are superiors. Superiors on the gates. 1,000. And as a matter of fact, Superior is one of my... Is one of, is one of my favorites of Pokemon. Because I do like Superior. Has a very nice... Took all my money. Oh my gosh. Is is a very nice Pokemon. It's like elegant. It's kind of royalish. I guess that's why it's on the gates. Because it's like... It always has its head up. Because as you saw in its Gen... Gen 5 sprite. When it did that little animation thing. Its head was always like leaning up to where you could see his chin. And also in the anime. When Trip he had a Superior... Whenever it would come out and say its name, its head would, like, go up, and it would seem royal and majestic. Hello. Where is it? Where could it be? I don't think- my fur fru. I don't think looking at a statue is gonna help. My Pokemon was with me, I'd be sick with worry. Who are you? Well... Since I have de since I have played through this game before, I know exactly how to get it. I need to I know how to get it back and where to go to do that. So it's not really a new experience. I'll have a look in the back. Even then, it's still kind of obvious to where it is. She just leads you to right where it is, I believe. I know where to go already. It's just I think she leads you to it. Oh, it's just sticking there in the middle. When I first played through this game, this was the most annoying thing ever. It took me like 20 minutes. It took me like 20 minutes to figure this puzzle out. How can you see that? There are hedges. There. Or there. Alright. Where even is it? I need to... I know how to beat this puzzle. Alright. I think I do. Okay. Okay. No, I think... Yeah, you have to stand there. And then I scare it off. There you go, and then it goes up. 
Are we close to cornering it? It took me that. It, it took me like two seconds. Oh, I can move. Should I wait in a different place? Yeah, you probably should. You just stand there. All right. Where should I wait? Is this place okay? Got it. All right. And then we just head up here. And then it's that easy. Sir, we found your perfect already. Oh, there's my little doggy. Or fur -fru. I don't know what that is. I think it's a poodle. You need you need fireworks. 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 Don't look at me. I know. You want fireworks. Maybe fur -fru would have been better if we off if we hadn't found it. Hey bud, Pokemon Chain, I hate to have like that. You're living in a royal house who puts on fireworks for everything. That's a good trainer, if you ask me. Even though I just skipped through the text and I didn't even read it. Oh well. Can't change it now. Let's run back. Get out of my way, Reshiram. See, Gen 5. And everyone says that. And people hate on Gen 5 even though it has one of the best stories ever. Like in Black and White. Like Black and White 2. Not the best story ever. Not compared to like Black and White. But Black and White was like a very good story. And it had... It had N, which is a really unique and awesome character. He's kind of like Wally, if you think about it. Like in the manga with like a breathing problem or something. I've been also reading a lot of the po uh, Pokemon Adventures manga. It's a very good series. Ho I really hope that you do guys check it out. You know, I've never watched Fireworks Alone with the Boy before. Well, that's how you got your title. Serena's your rival, Shauna's the girl who likes you, um, Tierno's the dancer, and and Trevor's the guy who wants to beat the Pokedex. They're extra special because I watched them with someone else aside from myself. As you can see on my screen, look at that screen, look at that high quality firework. Firework display. Wow, that was amazing. And that was my wonderful, wonder fru fireworks show for my fur fru. You didn't care about us. I almost forgot the po- oh. Okay, well, whatever, I still clicked the right one. Go get it. A rich guy like me doesn't need it. Give it to them. We just got the poker flute. I'll try to get this episode going for about 24 minutes, 23 minutes, maybe 25, I don't know. I'm gonna write a recording limit since I don't have enough space, it's about like 26. Mr. Butler. Yep, that's like, that is a good name. Wow, it's like, it's like his signature TM. I need to protect him from my... From my identity from my master because i don't want him calling me mr butler like these children have okay let's get out of here and i will not um i will catch the snorlax but i will not use him because i choose not to and i probably won't do competitive in this game because my competitive game with some pretty competitive pokemon is alpha sapphire with some competitive pokemon all right, here we go. Let's run. Run into a special place of magic. Wait, I believe we can catch an Esper. Should I catch an Esper or not? I may consider it. Eh, why not? Let's catch an Esper. Hopefully I have some Pokeballs. I'm gonna check very quickly. I have 11. I'm good. Alright. There we go. Uh, that looks like a beautiful 
we're gonna have to catch this um, esper as you can see oh wow turns out that it's not an esper too bad so sad I'm gonna be running around whoa it's a sword I wonder what's in that and what's in that like thing right there I won't use an Aegislash. slash because I'm probably going to end up using the free Lucario that they gave you, and I'll cover my steel typing. But even then, if you compose your team of completely dual type Pokemon, and they all have different types, oh, Kecleon, um, you have about, like, 12 of the 18 types. You have 12 of the 18 types, so there's, like, there's no way to get an entire team of, of all of the 18 types. Mm. And if you try to say that thing where it's like, oh, what if you count Pokemon such as like Rowlet, who start off with as a grass flying and then they turn into another type? I believe you could, but I don't think of any Pokemon that actually change your typing. I guess you could include Megas and Primals. But the thing that's weird, and I consider getting this to draw this like a comment or something or a comic or something is um, a thing where it's like a little cutie fly you know how it's like a fairy type and i'm thinking of drawing a comic or a comic where it's like a giant like rayquaza or something and it's battling that little cutie fly and it doesn't and it's like little cutie fly use draining kiss and like like the rayquaza looks like the, the most menacing thing ever and cutie fly is like small and tiny and it's like the size of a flea and then he's draining kiss and then Rayquaza's like ah oh no and then it just faints with like one hit that would be the most hilarious thing ever all right what is this why are there no espers here i know that they hear that they're here but that's the thing about pokemon games is that that whenever you try to find something um they never appear and I have a new outro thing, and since the episode's almost over, don't, like, skip ahead. Don't skip ahead to go ahead and see it, because I would appreciate if you watched the full episode. Unless you just go and watch the outro, and then come right back. I guess that's fine, too. Whee! Uh, I don't really know what to do at this point. I don't know what to talk. Why are there no experts here? Ridiculous. This is an Oddish. See, we're gonna teach you about Oddish. Oddish, their name is Oddish. They are the grass poison type. They are very odd and they have mashed potato powers. That's 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 Oddish in a nutshell. No, not this thing. Not a Honedge. Said I don't want an Aegislash. Slash. If I find a shiny, that would be very, very, very happy, but Probably won't find a shiny. I'm not trying to shiny hunt. I'm not much of a shiny hunt person. Like, so what I was doing, I was with a friend. And he was trying to get a Kiram. This is on Omega Ruby, not Sapphire. Or as. So he was trying to get a shiny Kiram. And I was get, and I was catching Terrakian at the time. So I said, hey, why not? Let's get a shiny Terrakian. So we had like a shiny hunt competition. Where all we did was just soft reset over and over again. And we did that until, and then, like, within, like, 15 tries, I got a shiny Terrakian. And I'm like, no way. And you know how people, they always like to prank each other? I was like, it's like whoa, I actually did. And then when they looked, they actually didn't get it. And I did that about twice. And then when I actually got the real thing, he was like, uh-huh, I'm, sure I'm sure you did get the shiny Kiram or shiny Terrakian. And then he turns like, no, 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 look, it's real. And then when I look at it, he just he just puts his hand on his forehead and he's like, ah. And I know it's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. My goodness, where's the Esper? What are even the chances of finding an Esper? Oh, I don't want to fight. There we go. There we go, yes. Yes, I found it. 
And I'm that kind of person who, like, doesn't care about what kind of type or gender it is. Some people do care. They're like, I want, I want this gen. I want my team to be all full of boys or something. But whenever I first find a Pokemon, I'm just like, I want it. I'm going to catch it no matter what gender it is. Unless it's like a... Unless it has to be a specific gender. Like Slandit or Combi. Where Combi has... Where Combi and Slandit have to be female or else they don't evolve. Okay. Oh, I can't really... Um, whittle it down. I guess I could use Leech Seed. I mean, I can't really do anything. My team's so overpowered. How long have I been recording? 20 minutes. So, I'll continue recording for a little bit longer. My goodness. And then I'll probably end off the episode. Alright. Leech Seed it up. Yeah, so sorry about the weird cut. I am... I'm so sorry for that. I ran out of space or something. Um, yes, but I did catch the Esper, and I guess I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, bye!